You've probably heard me say far too many times, pickleball is the only sport I've played. I've played many, many, many sports where we don't practice. How do we expect to get better if we're not practicing, if we're not drilling? And it's so true and so critically important. People have been asking me, so what's the difference between practicing and social play? Well, there's a huge difference because social play is still competitive. Sure, you can go in and I've done this saying, okay, I'm gonna work on this today or I don't care about winning. But at the end of the day, part of the reason for you to be out there playing socially is to win, right? I think so. It's not like we all think that we're gonna win every game we play, but when we go to play social play, like the end, the outcome is to win. And when that is the goal or the outcome, it then really becomes hard to work on things. And again, I've been there for a long time. Many of us really were trying to like, okay, what's the one thing I'm gonna work on? Well, you get caught up in the game and you're kind of trying to work on this one thing, but then you're losing and your brain is like, ah, oh, crap. Okay, I can't work on that thing anymore because now we're losing. And then you get pulled into that, which totally makes sense, right? So you have to have some dedicated time to work on getting better. And that usually doesn't and can't happen during social play. It just can't, right? It, it, it really is competitive to whatever degree, however it is that you want to look at it. So we have to have this deliberate, intentional time where we are working on things and working on the right things, which that's a whole other conversation. But it just doesn't really happen. So here, I'm trying to make that happen. I have a group of women I play with on Wednesday morning, and I have instituted a drill group before we play so we can work on certain things. And I think it's been pretty good and hopefully we'll do more of that because I need to practice. Again, I know that court access can be hard. I know that when you have four people together, everyone's just like, okay, let's play. And even when the intention is to drill, we might drill for 30 minutes or 45 minutes and then we're like, oh, okay, let's play. Yeah. I mean, it's bound to happen. You know, you have four people together and yeah, let's play, right? But again, when you're playing, you can't work on stuff. So you have to decide, do I want to drill and practice more where I'm intentionally working on my serve, my forehand, my backhand, my court positioning, drop shots, all of those things, or do I just want to play? Now, that's not to say like you have to eliminate one to have the other, but I think in a training session, it's best to just have one, like I'm doing on Wednesday, drilling for an hour, and then after that, an hour and a half of playing. But that has to happen consistently in order for change to happen. I don't know about you, but I get really frustrated with myself because I don't practice and getting better starts and stops, starts and stops, or doesn't happen consistently. At this point, 
I should be in a different place I am and I take responsibility for not being there, but it is largely because I don't practice. So think about the difference between practice, drilling and playing. Those are two very different things. And start to be intentional and deliberate about what you do every time you go out to play pickleball. This is Dr. Michelle coming at you, combining the mental and the physical for pickleball. See ya. <laughs>